I'm Dr. Nirma Shah, and I'm director of the Sickle Cell Transition Program at Duke University Hospital. I take care of both kids and adults with sickle cell disease. So a common question is, what is sickle cell disease? And the answer is it's, it's a genetic disorder, meaning you, you're born with this. It's something you get from your parents, both mom and dad. And when you're born with it, the, the change that you have is with your blood cells. The red blood cells themselves are normally round. It's kind of like a jelly donut. They're really nice and squishy. But with sickle cell disease, the small little change that your genes have cause those cells to change from that little squishy jelly donut into a sickled shape. And that sickled shape is, is kind of jagged on one side and actually can get stuck very easily in the small blood vessels. And that's a problem. If blood doesn't get to where it needs to go, if that blood cell has changed its shape and gotten stuck, it causes a whole cascade of issues. If blood doesn't get to the bones, it can hurt. And so one of the most common symptoms that, that you can have with sickle cell is to have some pain. If you don't get blood to your lungs, then it's what we call acute chest, and it's a severe complication. If you don't get blood uh, to your kidneys, you can have kidney damage. So really, every organ can be, be affected by sickle cell disease, so we have to watch you really closely. In sickle cell disease, it's always best to be ahead of the curve. We want to make sure we know what's potentially coming, and by doing so and having you follow closely with us, we're going to watch you like a hawk because we want to make sure we pick up on those issues before they become more of a problem. What I need to do is make sure that as you encounter a speed bump, as you have these difficulties, that we push you back on the path that pushes you into success to get you what you want in life. And that be a family, to be having a job, to go to school. So everyone walks a different journey, but I think really the, the emphasis should be on how do we as, as a medical team support you to get to where you want to go.